Welcome back, everybody, to I Got My Pots. This is your boy, Trick Daddy Dollar, and I represent the Trey 05, the 954, and the 561. Matter of fact, I run the whole Gunshine State, and I'm a representative, been doing it all my damn life. Today, we're going to talk about something that I'm going to call unpopular opinion. I'm going to talk about some things that y'all probably don't want to talk about, or y'all want to talk about, but you're scared to talk about. I'm going to talk about couples, relationships, situations, angles, and conversations. I'm going to talk about a lot of shit that y'all ain't going to like. But then again, some people just gonna love it. We gotta start by sticking together. Y'all need to start sticking together. Stop being so goddamn mad all the time. Life are valuable. Have you noticed that everybody that's been killed in the last couple of years, you don't even hear about them, don't talk about them no more? The sad part about it is my mama, your mama goes to school and I kill your mama's son. My mama can't even grieve for her and that was her childhood friend. That's the kind of shit we growing up in. Y'all stay right back. It's another episode of I Got My Pots. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddies. I Got My Pots. This next artist has been in the game for a very long time now, and she's going to remind you if you think you're going to forget with lyrics like, Been in the game 15 and I am peak yet. Because it's one thing to be around for 15 years, but to be hot musically for near two decades is a whole nother level of the game. This super freaky girl is controversial, outspoken, and refuses to be tamed. Even with all the adversity in her career and her personal business in the streets, just this year she still managed to earn her first solo number one record on the Billboard Hot 100 with her song, you guessed it, Super Freaky Girl. This song actually debuted at number one. Lauryn Hill is the only other female MC to ever do it with her song, Do Wop That Thing. With that being said, here are the top five highest selling Nicki Minaj singles of all time in the United States. Number five, Anaconda. It was released on August 4th, 2014, and it went two times multi-platinum on November 14th, 2014. And the video was actually filmed in two days in Los Angeles. Nicki faced a lot of backlash for the raunchy lyrics and the sexually explicit visuals. Even still, when the video premiered on YouTube on August 19, 2014, at the time, it became the most watched video within a 24-hour time span on the platform with over 19.6 million views. Number four only. It was released on October 28, 2014, and it went three times multi-platinum on August 17, 2015. And Nicki addressed rumors of her sleeping with her label mates head on, bar for bar, coming out swinging in the intro with, I never Wayne, I never f***ed Drake. On my life, man, f sake. She said it. Number three, Starship. It was released on April 3rd, 2012, and it went six times multi-platinum on August 4th, 2014. And she got a lot of flack from the original hip-hop lovers because the song was so pop. But apparently, people loved the song more than hated it because this is still one of Nicki Minaj's biggest singles, and it helped make her a mainstream pop star. Number two, Bang Bang, with Jesse J and Ariana Grande. It was released on July 29, 2014, and it went eight times multi-platinum on February 12, 2021. And this was the collaboration we didn't see coming, but we are so thankful for it. Jesse and Ari's vocals with Nicki's creative lyrics made us clash the hip hop and the pop genres together gracefully. Number one is for the boys with the booming system, top down AC with the cooling system. You know, super bass. It was released on June 21st, 2011, and it went 10 times multi-platinum on November 9th, 2021, making it a diamond record. Major. This was not Nicki Minaj's first single, but it most definitely feels like it because it was her breakout single that essentially set her apart from a lot of artists. With her hip hop metaphors on top of an upbeat pop sound mixed with some singing, I think that let everyone know that Nicki Minaj could rap on any beat and she was here to stay. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on album sales in the United States. Facts. Courtesy of the RIAA. My favorite Nicki Minaj song is Your Love. What is yours? What top five would you like to see me do next? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara, and this was another top five on Trick Daddy. I got my pot. Welcome back to...
I got my pots. Remember, if you ain't subscribed, subscribe right now. If you ain't doing nothing, first of all, I and I, I always say stuff that a lot of people probably want to say, which they could say. So I'm gonna say it for you. I'm gonna be your voice. And I would say that I speak for all the real, but I can't tell who real is no more. So I'm gonna speak for only the real. And you know who you are. Now, if I don't agree with something you say or you don't agree with something I say, they don't make us wrong. Because, you know, because God brought us here in a perfect world. And we that makes us unperfect, un un imperfect people. We're not perfect at all. And, and I always think back to the man from St. Louis who say he put sugar in his grits. <laughs> I was like, this stupid He just don't know no better. Sugar go in Kool-Aid. Sugar go in lemonade. Coffee. Tea. Not grits. Sugar don't go in grits. Sugar go in cream of wheat. In oatmeal. Not grits. What I don't do on this cooking show either. I don't. I don't give. I give a minimum attention to you know ignorant people. I notice that people like ignorant. Shit. For instance, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. Some some shit happened so long ago. Everybody want to talk about it. And it's, it's cool for the young people. But if you my age and you never heard of Jeffrey Dahmer, what the fuck was you doing? You are responsible for what's going on in the world now because you have let a lot of shit slip by you. I don't want to repeatedly go back and tell a story about a man that was kidnapping, drugging, and people because the family of those people are the family of the victims. Those people are still suffering and some of them have healed. Why would you bring that back up? Who approved this? Why are y'all giving legs to something that's already been laid to rest? A lot of you networks, a lot of you bloggers, a lot of you podcasters, a lot of you news uh, magazines and papers, a lot of you radio stations, a lot of you rappers, you give attention to the wrong man. You give attention to the wrong and you're not gonna take it seriously until it hits you home. When it hit home, it's gonna hurt you. When it hit home, it's gonna hurt you. I don't want you on the news crying and complaining. Don't play the victim then. Don't play the victim then. Every, I don't know who played the worst victim, Trump, Putin, or some of these rappers. You got prosecutors not trying to prosecute rappers. Let me tell y'all young rappers something too. I've been doing my 25th anniversary concert. And when I come to y'all city, I've been trying to book y'all. I got bad news. They trying to blackball y'all. I'm going to be the first one to tell y'all. They trying to blackball y'all in a way that kind of makes sense. That's the sad part about it. Because what they're doing is they're not insuring no business and no buildings and no events. They're not going to give it insurance if you is talking about your guns and your 30s and you're killing and you're smoking on. They're not, they're not insuring the buildings. So all that fast money y'all made, guess y'all gonna get in the trucking business. Don't everybody wanna be a trucker now? Y'all some following man. Everybody wanna be a trucker now. One started selling here, everybody sell here. Started selling pussy, prostitution drop. The prostitution rate, value drop drastically. Now you wanna drive trucks. Telling me to get a truck. Tell your mammy to get a truck. Keep it locked right here. I got my pot. Welcome back to I got my pot. Remember, if you're ever in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area, make sure you come by Sunday's Eatery. It's located in Miami God Drive. By the time this show come out, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the move for the location, but I ain't going far. So just hit me up on Google, Wikipedia. They know about us all over the world. Like I was saying earlier. 
And my guest kind of laughed. I heard her in the back. Heard my guest in the back laughing. She probably think I'm crazy. But she was like, you heard what he said? The value of the done drop. Price and value dropped drastically. The reason being, back in the days, I went to the strip club. Only the fine girls was allowed to go on stage. As a matter of fact, let's back up. You had the audition. The managers of the clubs, had uh, the house mom of the club, wanted you to put on your uniform, your costume. They wanted to see you walk around. They wanted to look at your shoes. They wanted to look at your background. And they determined or not whether you were stripper material. Now, I'm going to turn sideways because I ain't ashamed. That's not a baby. That's a stomach, a gut. I'm finding that 80% of you strippers. That means you shouldn't be a stripper. You're not stripper material. Then let alone, how did you get on the stage? Only the bad strippers made it to the stage. I know what's going around. Strip clubs are using promoters now. They promote itself. Strippers is having boyfriends. If you a stripper with a boyfriend, congratulations, you are he your up. Because any real man don't want their girl standing on a stage showing her body in front of a bunch of horny people in the world. You know what I'm saying? These promoters is liking these women. They're going with them. The managers and the promoters of the club, average, a girlfriend, a stripper girlfriend every month. Rule number one, ladies and gentlemen, never, ever be in a relationship with somebody that you're not attracted to under no circumstance. That's got to be the most nasty, sickening thing you could ever do in your life. That's the lowest, dirtiest thing you could do, be in a relationship with somebody you're not attracted to. Two, never have a baby with or from somebody that you're not attracted to. That's not security. That's insecurity. And if you was in the army, that'd be insubordination. That is wrong. You're having babies because you trying to Do what to the bag? Yeah. Trying to secure the bag, huh? You better find out what kind of bag it is. Is it a Win Dixie bag? Is it a Gladlock bag? Because the white stuff in the bag might not be cocaine, it might be regular flour. Because this was this, this, this is all-purpose flour. I fry chicken with that. Is it a, a Bloomingdale's bag? Is it a Macy's bag? Is it a bag from Saks Fifth? A Gucci? And what's in the bag is it valuable? Will it help you in life? Will it pay some bills? We never know. You see, I tell the truth on this show. Cause they always, I was always told that the truth would set you free. Hey, I gotta call you back. I'm in the middle of a show right now. All right. I was always told that the truth will set you free. I'm just telling it like a T.I. is, man. I'm telling it like it is. I went to a, a football game in, um, in Fort Lauderdale over the weekend. And congratulations to all the teams. Congratulations to Strong Gun, Flowrider, Freezy. Killing you. Congratulations to all the commissioners. They was doing something on that park that I wish I could still do in Miami. There was about 1,500 people, black people, women, men, boys, girls, and children on the park. I didn't see not one police, one security guard, I didn't see one argument or one fight, and they hear one gun go off. Damn, I wish we can go back to them days. I would, I'm just, I'm sorry, but I just wish we can go back to them days. I wish they could move Martin Luther King Parade back on 62nd Street. 
And I wish they could put the Goon Bay back on Grand Avenue. I wish they could do that. Time's up and it's up because people like you, people like you that's having sex and children and relationship with people you're not attracted to, you don't respect, you don't love. When you don't love, respect, or attracted to somebody that you're having a kid with, there's a chance that you're not going to be together alone. It takes two to raise a child, man. With assistance of all of us. I'm from South Florida, a place where most of us not from here. When I say here, I mean the, what we call America. See, this is Indian country. They was here hundreds of thousands of years before we even thought about coming here. And for all y'all that celebrate Chris, Christopher Columbus Day, I don't got nothing against you. Just do your homework. Tell me, have you ever been to America? Y'all keep it locked, because I'm going to bring my guests out here next. She's from one of my favorite places in the world. Hit that subscribe button. I got these lima beans cooking. I got some okra and pigtails in there. I got this chicken frying, golden brown looking, in a pot. We finna eat good, we finna talk some shit. I'm gonna let her tell us what she got going on. And one thing I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this, and I'm not being biased and not being present. If a woman come on this show, she's very pretty, fine, sexy, and smart. Keep it locked, the bitch I got my pot. Welcome back to another episode of I Got My Pot. I remember what I told y'all earlier. I heard my guest talking crazy like she can cook and all that. And I'm going to be honest, the part of town she from, I'm going to love about four women from a city. I like the way they talk, the way they dress, the way they act, their whole mentality. I'll give it up for my next guest, the lovely and talented Miss Tamar Braxton. Hi. What's up, baby? <laughs> All right. Uh, do, okay, so I'm going to tell you three of the women that I'm in love with out of both. Okay, who? <laughs> who? Your sister Tony. Okay. You. Uh <laughs> and just hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think it get no ghetto than them three right there. Oh, you there. know what? <laughs> ghetto, beauty, and fine. Thank you. Last you. night, I saw you at the concert last night. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm finna go over here and flirt with her. And then I seen the big <laughs> with the hoodie on. I'm like, what the <laughs> is this nigga doing here? It's my baby daddy. But I, I'm like, I don't hang with my baby mom. I'm like, this you nigga. Know? No, bro, we cool, but we be even me hanging together. I'm like, this nigga here got to go. I'm like, I'm trying to tell security, hey. Oh, my baby daddy like my cousin now. No, no, but he cool, he cool. Yeah, he cool. I was just joking. <laughs> I was just trying to figure some out. I'm like, what is okay. this? Okay, I well, want to see on what's going on over I'm here. I'm trying to figure out, okay, so. Okay. This is pigtails. You asked about the pigtails. Let me see, what's a pigtail? Very delicious. That, that's I, no, that's not, that, it's butt. It's not butt, it's the tail. No, the pig. Actually, you eat chitlins. Chitlins is I worse do. than the ass. Chitlins is the intestines, is a, which is Right, different. that's what, the, it's the bag, the hole is Yeah. <laughs> is that why it's so flavorful? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I, 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 I cooked, because I cooked, I cooked some chitlins like two weeks ago. Oh, you did? How I cooked my Your chitlins. Your chitlins stank, though. No, I, yeah. clean, I clean my chitlins. Yeah. I clean the inside. I, my grandma said I used to take too much out. No, you're supposed a, to take the membrane out. Okay, Everybody so I it. take the membrane out, but then there's an the inner line and cold. Take her I used out to too. take that out. Okay, so I mm -hmm. take that out too. My grandma said, I took a 10 pound bucket, and I probably got a pound and a half, two pounds when I'm finished. That's supposed to be like that. So I use a little apple cider vinegar, uh -huh. some crushed red pepper, mm -hmm. paprika, mm -hmm. some Sunday seasoning. I got to get the Sunday seasoning. We just got our shipment back here. I got to get some Sunday seasoning. They okay. go on everything. But okay. girl, it get bad yeast infection. You can't put it on girl. Whoa. Can't put that on girl, fellas. Yeah, that's fine you know. up in your bones. Nobody yeah. want that. Yeah. But <laughs> I cut up me some onions, mm -hmm. and I cook the chitlins real, real slow, and squeeze me two lemons in there. With you that put it large, with that you large put it over rice? That's all I need. That's all I need. 
I like it. Do you like um, fried chitlins, though? I never had fried chitlins. You gotta make that for me. I can. So after you cook them, right? Uh -huh. You just pat it dry. You put it in a little flour like you do a little chicken. And you put it in some grease and you take it out. That thing is amazing. Whoa. Yeah. Melt in your mouth. <laughs> and you know me and your sister Tony, we was, I was diagnosed with lupus. Yeah. I give her a lot of curves because, okay, when I first, if you can see I got like a dent somewhere in my face, yeah. those are for the steroid shots. Yeah. I stopped taking it. It, it messed with me mentally, mm -hmm. it messed with me physically. For sure. I didn't want to take pictures, I didn't want to do shows, I didn't want to talk, I didn't want to go on the side. But as I found out, more people I find that Kenny had lupus. I'm like, damn, Seal had lupus. Then yeah. I'm like, Tony Braxton, like, yeah. I'm like, that's the first girl that I love that when she seen, she didn't even have to open her mouth all the way. They yeah. was like crazy about Tony Braxton. That's the one first one with the low haircut. Like nobody else came well. Hunter Nita Baker. If I caught another female with a low haircut besides Hunter Nita Baker, I'd be like, you would never be Tony oh Braxton. Oh my god. <laughs> like you feel me? And I'm like. I'm like, if this could happen to them, this could happen. So I, could, I thought it was a curse for me. Yeah, really? I thought I was being punished. I thought I had already uh, served my punishment. I thought I was being punished for something that I had did already and that I don't remember and I got away, or I thought I got away with it. I got on my knees and prayed to ask God, say, man, show me the right way. Mm -hmm. God said, continue to live your life. Yeah, for sure. I wasn't taking five pills. They get a pill for the lupus. Mm -hmm. They get a pill for the pill. And you peel for your kidney. Yeah. And one for your uh, liver. Yeah. Hold it. Wait a minute. So if I take the the, the, the pill for lupus, a disease is not curable. For sure. I got a chance of losing my liver and my kidney. I deal with the lupus. So now. So what you doing? I don't do nothing. I eat mermaid. <laughs> I came on. I am the president and founder <laughs> of the eating game. Uh, you, really? Yes. Eating. Oh. No pee pee, no do. The golden all. Everything. Oh, yeah. wow. The funky cold Medina. That could be chilling. Yeah, I mean, it could <laughs> be, but there's rules to it. No pee pee, no doodle. No pee pee, no doodle. No pee pee, no doodle. Okay. That, that doodle include crumbs. Oh, Lord. I, I, did I sign up for this conversation? But let me tell you what I did sign up for. What did? First of all, first of all, I want you to know your admiration for Tony is definitely reciprocated. Because she told me this morning when I told her what I was doing today, she was a little jealous. She was like, oh my God, I love him so much. And we talked about, you know, how you guys share your autoimmune issue. Right. You know, and the truth is, you know, science has progressed since both of you probably got diagnosed. Right. And there are other ways of, you know, going yeah, no about, way. you know, curing your sickness and things like that. But, you know, I, I love people with lupus because I feel like they're really strong individuals because y'all don't feel good 95% of the time. I didn't go to sleep yet. When I left the concert last night, Yeah. I didn't, first of all, I didn't want to be late to come do the show because we originally said we was going to do it at 11. Okay. Then I got a homeboy that's my age and he, he's did 34 years in prison already. Mm. And they're trying to take him back to prison for a technical violation. Oh, no. And all of us is going to court to support him. Okay. So I said, I'm going to stay up all night because I can't miss Tamar and I got to go to uh, the court for body. Yeah. I ended up, before I looked up, it was 10 o'clock. I'm CO was calling me like, what you cooking? I'm like, man, what the f <laughs> Yeah, you guys are real strong people. Y'all keep it moving, especially when y'all don't feel good. So I love y'all both. But I also love you on a different level because we share something that you and Tony don't share. Because she don't cook like we do. And I cook like you do. So she cook like my mama. No, she yeah. cook like, no. She cook like, her name is Jan. Oh, no salt. And then no butter. she don't give you, you know, a, 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 a lot of it. Yeah, so like one time, you know, like it was New Year's <laughs> Eve. And we was like, we'll make some chicken, we'll make some french fries, we'll make some hood food, and watch the ball drop on TV. We weren't gonna do much. I promise you, Tony Braxton made everybody one piece of chicken. What? One piece. And that's that that she do. So that's why I call her Jan. Hi, Jan. Has she <laughs> always been like that? Because she's one thing. Yes. I see, I see women. I see women gain weight because when you when you're a woman and you have kids and, and as you get older, your metabolism and, and everything with y'all yeah. hormones are different. Y'all hormones play tricks with. I seen them get big. How does she stay the same size and look the same? How is all? Uh, do all y'all got the same daddy? Yeah, we got the same mama and daddy. Oh, yeah. see, my mom got ten baby daddy. She got ten. Yeah. She's a champ. <laughs> <laughs> my mom got ten baby daddy. All y'all look. 
exactly alike. Yeah. Y'all got this pretty smile, this Thank nice you. person. Else. And what I like about you is everything you host, everything you appear on, I know you're gonna be yourself. Yeah. I know you I know you'll never play the stripper in the movie. I know you'll never play that promiscuous evil one. Well that's not necessarily true. I have a show on BT Plus. <laughs> it's called that, but, King of Business. But, and I play the <laughs> But you but you don't play but you don't play the evil one. Oh yeah, she's a that's different. She's another level. She's like the church. See what I'm saying? But see she we in have the church, the, see what what what, 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 what scenes, that shows is kicking with the pastor. That but that's what go that's why I don't go to church. I don't even want to get there. We can't even talk about that today. You know what I'm saying? I don't go to church because I, one thing I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna go in nobody else's house they hope. All them little children in church, you know that, you know, Mother Johnson and Mother Teresa and Mother <laughs> Terry, yeah. they don't got no husband. Yeah, yeah. But every year, you see kids. Uh huh. That's them deacons and them pastors. They the daddy. Yeah. Well, he said it first. I didn't say anything, but uh, okay. Yeah, that's what's going on in the church. That's why I don't go to church. Oh. I, I got, I, I met more women in church than I met in the mall. More, really? Church something else. Oh. Okay, well, this chicken is something else. So let me ask you a, a fun fact question. Uh -huh. So is it true that when the chicken start floating, it's done? It's done when it starts floating. Some people like their chicken cooked longer than others. I do. I like They're a like little they, hard they, they, chicken. Right, they want to fry hard, but yeah. to prevent from having to do that, mm. you don't get no king Kong chicken. You know, like the church's uh, drum, got the I, little extra piece of breast hooked on I like the king Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Churches is my favorite chicken, but I don't like, I get the legs. Give me the legs. You like the legs? I like, I like this part. If you don't like this well, part. Well, I like the flats, but there ain't no flats in here because I said EJ. If you know, EJ was raised up with black people, but if you know, he's not really black. Even though he he just like us, that's my but he's not black. Well, that's my kind of guy. <laughs> I heard, I heard, I heard that too. What you hear? I heard that, I heard the new is like. The new the flock. No. I heard your new old man is, is like a flock. What y'all mean? What y'all call it? Uh, Anna Palmer. <laughs> Mixed up? Yeah, what we call it down here is a flock. A flock? Yeah, we call it a flock, lemonade and tea. So this is what I always tell you. What's up? Stop, if you, if you don't pay this woman bill, oh. if you don't take care of this woman, uh -huh. that ain't your woman. Who, who woman is it? Whoever paying that bills and take care of them. I'm married and my, my wife have had three or four boyfriends. I know, we talked about this. And, 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 and me and her friends now, by the way. Oh, you are? That's my dog, that's my dog. No, he do, I told that's you that's my dog. dog. I'm gonna find her somebody. No, you, you, she got somebody. Who? You too. You? No. Yep. I told you this. And and, and when I told you I was gonna be cool, you was like, nah, don't you remember that? Yeah, but you I remember. Like, we ain't gonna be cool. I'm like, dog, you she gonna be cool. She unblocked me. She unblocked me. Told you that too. She unblocked me, but. Mm -hmm. I, it's like, it, it, I think it's runner's, it's runner's core. She's going to unblock and now un- <laughs> <laughs> Yes, she is. I think and that's you the call problem. me first. What, what I do, what, what I do to them, uh -huh. I make their tongue slap their brains out. They can't never think right no more. I think I'm the one got a head Well, how you do? I be doing what I be doing, what I be doing, what I be doing. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, all up and through there. <laughs> Went from the Gucci crew. Okay. She, when I met her, she was a tight end. What's that mean? She was a tight end. Everything was intact. She left a wide receiver. Oh my God. So to just, just let you know, like I don't, and, 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 I, and I know how to take care and I know how to spoil, <laughs> spoil my women. Yeah. But it's very important. It is and important. You can have as, many, as much friends if you want to. Yes, I'm a goddess. Yes, you can have so as much four. friends as you want to. That's Everybody, right. the man, men, but I don't sleep with all of them, though. No, 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 you don't have to. Yeah, I don't. I don't sleep with all of them. I was actually celibate for a good 10 months. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was. I was. See, now, you was at your most vulnerable stage. At that time, before I let you say something like, I like you and Joy together, if I'd have known that you ain't had gay nobody none in 10 months, yeah. I, I definitely would have got you. Why? Why? I know what to tell you. I know what you need to hear. Yeah, but come on, I'm not that easy. It's not about know? that. It's not about being that easy. It's about a man knowing what a woman wants. And they say, as long as the woman is happy, mm -hmm. the woman is happy. The woman 
is happy. <laughs> so I buy them stuff and eat their stuff. Buy them stuff and eat their stuff. Buy them stuff and eat their stuff. What? Buy them stuff and eat their stuff. Oh, I, that took a second, but I caught on. All right. And, and, they, and they stay happy. See, what it is now, it's a lot. So, so the problem is But what today, if you're not into that? What if you're not into somebody okay, so, eating, eating your stuff? But I'm going to tell you what took so I can have a conversation. Uh -huh. I'm not the one that's going to call your phone and be like, what you doing? What you don't see you? Ain't that some lame? You ever met a no. And we're like, oh, I think he, I think he's, oh, he's so sexy. And then he just opened his mouth and he, you talk to him, it's like, that's lame. Okay. I can identify with that. That's what, I, I'm not the type. If you listen to me, I got you. Oh, okay. I got you. I'm going to take you somewhere you ain't never been. And the gold teeth don't get in the way. I'll take them out. Oh, oh, they come out? No, they I, come they, they, out? They, they, no I can take I can take them out. I can go to the dentist and take them out. Oh, okay. I get it depends on the female. Okay, I got yeah. it. We All get right. ready. Let's okay, so let's talk about this pig tail. What is, what is in here? It's, it's, what is that? That's pig tail and who else? And lima bean. Okay. Okra and lima bean. And what's in here? This is rice. You gotta have rice. You can boil them all. Yeah, we eat rice every you day. You can boil them all. Yeah. You might as well be. You know, Scarface say Baltimore. It's Baltimore. <laughs> and and y'all don't, and the Braxton sisters don't talk like the other girl from Baltimore. Was it certain style? You know, they be saying certain words. Well, you know, we've been out, you know, uh, of the DMV okay. area for a little while. Uh, so, okay. you know, I talk like that too. And uh, like, okay, that's it right there. Let me get a half and half and a hot dog. Yeah. yeah. So I can talk like that. <laughs> but I don't normally because, you know, I've been in LA for a long time. A lot of people get, the, a lot of people get DC, Maryland, and Virginia mixed up. It's they really all the same. But when it it's comes to, when it comes to Baltimore, Maryland. It's a little different. <laughs> I want to taste like, this chicken because I feel like, okay, let me tell you, I'm really particular about my chicken. I feel like if you don't clean the chicken and take the feathers off, you really don't care about me because you want me to eat somebody. You know what I'm saying? You want me to eat the feathers. Why you want me to eat the feathers for? Well, a lot you of women, a lot me, of women like a, a lot of women like feathers. I don't like because what, what they won't, what they won't do to a man, they'll do to another woman. So I leave the feathers on, but I clean them for you because I wasn't sure. Thank you, but I'm not, I'm not bisexual at all. So I ain't nobody feathers. Okay, I, was, I wasn't sure. Hmm. I was just want to know. Uh oh. <laughs> no, let her eat it, then we're gonna start over. You can't stop up from eating. Is it seasoned good? Yup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like my little stiffer, but it's good. Mm-hmm. What's it good? Like good. You can fry chicken. I could, I so could what cook. you let me ask you a question. What do you make the morning after? Is it chicken? The morning after, uh. Mm -hmm. the morning after all this, what'd you say? Mermaid. Uh the morning after I'll probably do salmon croquettes, grits, eggs, corned beef hands, and bacon and sauce. You trying to make her go back to sleep? Well, you know what I make? I call it get him girl. What is it? Because that is the key to get him to go back to sleep to keep him around a little longer. And the young what girl you can mount do that. I do a little bacon, and I make some homemade donuts. Fill your belly up, you get the salt and the sweet. And then Trina you Trina is addicted to this bacon. What you mean? Everywhere she go and they got bacon, she bring me bags of bacon. Yeah. I'm like, what the is Yeah, we like bacon. You don't like bacon? I love bacon. Bacon is my favorite food. Bacon, then pork chop, then seafood. I love a pork chop. I was gonna cook you pork chop, but I wanted to be different. You should've, I, I want another bite. Wait, everybody. Right here. <laughs> I want to get the most ghettoest prayer. What's up, buddy? Oh, God. You good? The chicken. You like that chicken? She don't know how to eat chicken. I, can I do. Her. I don't eat the bone. Okay, I don't, want, I don't want my teeth to she touch the bone. She don't know how to eat chicken. I do I even know how to eat chicken. She don't know how to you eat chicken. You want me to suck on the bone? No, you have to pull. I'm going to show you how to eat it. I know how to eat chicken. I've been eating chicken since I was I'm two and a half I'm gonna show you months. how to eat it. I'm gonna show you how to eat it. Why you think I don't know how to eat chicken? I, just, I can tell. How you, how you make donuts though? Okay, so it's really easy. So it's, I mean, it's like, you need to, all females need to have this in their refrigerator, okay? So you get a um, one of those four packs of biscuits, Pillsbury right. biscuits, 
and everybody has bacon, right? And it's really quick, cause you know, y'all don't like us to leave y'all for a long time. Y'all like that. Right. So you cook the bacon, I put my bacon in the oven, and you put some oil, like you about to fry some chicken. Not that much, maybe half of that. And you cut the biscuits in four, and then you drop them in there, and they become like these little puffs. You take them out, sugar put a little pot, whatever you like, whatever they like, powdered sugar, sometimes put a little syrup on it, <laughs> and then you eat it with the, you know, the bacon, then you get them, girl, then we'll go home. <laughs> That's what's Got up. Got them. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So you gonna eat a little today? I don't know about that. Now, see, I'm, I'm not out here. I'm telling you, it's good. I'm telling you. Yeah, but why is it so greasy? Is it it's make it not greasy? Grease. That's not grease. That's seasoning. Oh, seasoning. That's that good. But who Sunday plate is that? Season. It's mine. Okay. That's too much for you. That's right? way too much. Is that too much rice for you? Yes, it is. Okay, let me give me half of that rice, man. Don't worry about it. Yeah, give me half of that. Like I just want like that much, especially after all that hawking. <laughs> 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 a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. That's too much for me. Up. That's good right there. Wait, well, I need more juice. Okay, I get you. I'm just trying that. Now, okay, give me a little bit. Of Let me see. <laughs> we all in the mood for a little every now and then. All right. Ciara <laughs> don't want none. Okay, let me get some juice. Hold on. We on. That's all why he had to make right. it like we all in the line at jail? He don't eat this. Hold on. Why you can't? He don't eat this. Nah, that's he's not gonna eat. Oh, that's right. He don't eat that. He don't eat pork. I'm you. sorry, yes, that's fine. You might as well, you poor if you eat mermaid. What's I'm the difference? I try to tell them that every time. Yeah, that's no difference. You, you, you indulge. Okay, so why okay, you say I don't know pray. how to we're eat it? Pray. Okay, let's pray. pray. Who's praying? You praying. You, you from the church. Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. You the preacher's daughter. That's the, what's the team? This and I'm also show? saved for myself. Okay. Okay, okay everybody so ready? Yeah. yeah. God is grace, God is good, Lord. We thank you for this food. Thank you for the hands of preparing it. Please don't let us get sick or fat. Amen and amen. And a lady. Amen. And a lady. Let oh. me show you, listen. Before you, before you eat that chicken, let me show you how to eat it. I don't eat that. You don't like you don't hot, eat no sauce? hot sauce? I eat the green hot sauce, so y'all know about that. Oh, yes, I do. You know about the green hot sauce? The green hot sauce is the blessing. Yeah, it's a Yes, it is. It's a blessing. How come you ain't got it? Do you see that? You that? Give her a fork. Let's see what she think about this. That's how you eat it. <laughs> now you see why they don't be want to go home? I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you see the fruit roll up challenge? Mm -mm. That's why I call it my best friend because he know I like a plastic fork. See what I'm saying? Let me see. Let me taste the ass of the pig. Let's see what this tastes like. Where am I home? It's your first time. It tastes like grandma house. Like grandma? No, grandma house. Grandma and pop up. <laughs> <laughs> I went to grandma and pop up houses. We can't have some pigs. Some nano bang. We done did it again. Did it again. But before we go, you don't eat hot. You don't. You only eat the. I don't like the red one. The I, red I don't one like give you, that. The red one give you acid reflux. Did you know that? So you over the threshold of that age. You need to get. Well, that this, this is my Miami favorite crust. Mm. There's more of a flavor. It's not hot. It's not hot. It just tastes. Yeah, like but pop up. You gotta take care of yourself. You are over that age. Yes. So before we get out of here, we gotta say congratulations on Love and War going platinum. Oh, thank you. What's Thank next? You. Like, what's your next album? Um, the next is next. <laughs> <laughs> the next is next. Yeah? Y'all start singing in choir? No, we were the choir. The whole, you know, my, yeah, so y'all had your own church? Yeah, my dad and my mom. They had two different churches. Damn. Yeah, so when I was growing up, when I was really little, my father had his own church, but by the time I became a teenager, they had two different churches. So how did that work in the household? You know, they... No, how did it work when y'all started making this sexy music? Oh, y'all, how I get in it? <laughs> Your music's sexy too. My music is about relationships. That's only bread. That's sexy. They got her to... That ain't me. 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, you know, I feel like there is no difference, and that's where we agree when we talk about church, right? Right. There's no difference in saying I love you and then singing I love you and then talking about the emotions and the feelings that, you know, surround that. That doesn't mean you're going to die and go to hell. And if somebody believes that you're going to die and go to hell, I think hell is going to with all this crazy going it's on ridiculous. now. It's ridiculous. Yeah, well, you know. I'm ready to go to sleep. Y'all still want to talk. I want to go to sleep. Well, I get the, the code to the door. I'm not coming Hold over there. <laughs> Papa, I'm coming over to eat. And that's Go it. Lay down, baby. Good. You know she got Arnold Palmer outside waiting on the 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 outside. I got my wet. <laughs> <laughs> she got Arnold Palmer outside. I don't have an almond palmer outside. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all go follow her on every platform. Yes. No stalking. None of the. No trolling. Yeah. What's your Instagram? my Braxton on everything. On everything? On everything. Damn. Did you have fun? Pop-up trick? Yeah. Don't call me no pop-up. Well, it's pop-up. This is a pop-up plate. Everybody know this is a pop-up plate. Look how she ate her chicken. She ate her chicken like a white girl. She didn't eat that chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> you the type of I'll throw it away and they don't eat that. Okay, so here's the thing. Like, I don't want my teeth to touch the bone. It's not necessary. What? You know? No. That's why. Wow. You have to it a little bit. Well, where's your chicken? Exactly. What that? Yeah. Get it like that again. Mm. Show her chicken. <laughs> Look at her chicken. I ate it. Nah. Hell to the no, no. Go follow every platform. Yeah. Support, subscribe. Thank you for coming. Thank if you. If you ain't buy the album, go buy the album. It's amazing. Make it double platinum. <laughs> if you even saw what she wore last night at a concert, I didn't go in the front of the stage, but I was looking at her on the monitor. So it was just as good. <laughs> Triple platinum. <laughs> He's so funny. And till next time, just remember one thing. One thing. I got my pot. Me too. <laughs>
bucks. Yeah. My b- jump. The club jump. I tell a nigga how high, watch him jump. Pretty b- number one. New whip crisscross, make it jump, 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 jump. Brought the hood outside, made it jump, 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 jump. If your be real big, make it jump. <laughs> so that's how you doing it, huh? Period. I'm going to make them jump. Jump. Next time you can't wear the red bottoms. You got to put on them sneakers. I know, so I could jump, yeah. right? So I feel like jump. I could have jumped yeah. and yeah. going to pop out. They would have liked that, oh, though. Oh, we would have loved that. <laughs> yeah, so let them know where they can find you at. Y'all already know. It's your girl Mariah Lynn. Thank you to everybody for supporting me through my journey. Y'all can find me on Instagram, all musical outlets. Jump is coming soon. And once upon a time, not long ago, I'm about to have a new hit, period. Bitch, I got my pots. Bitch, I got my pot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got my pots.